Yeah, you know, when we talk about barbecues, we talk about you know great food and some really good um, drinkable wine. And you know, when I like, I always at home, I'd always have fish on the on the barbecue. Like, uh, just for, for example, I have a lovely piece of salmon with it. Just squeeze of lemon juice, olive oil, light marinade, just barbecue nicely. What wine would you choose for that? Well, wine should always be looked at as the added ingredient to any dish. Yeah. So when you're doing something like you mentioned, it's, it's, it, you've got the salmon, which yeah. is cooked quite light, the yeah. lemon. So you want something that's going to complement that and, and not overwhelm it. Right. Um, so something like a nice easy Sauvignon Blanc or an un oak Chardonnay would work perfectly well. Right. Um, mm. Some light reds can work, but um, you would be talking something like a Beaujolais or a Pinot Noir. So if you're having like a, a barbecues, typically would, would have a, an array of food, so from seafood to uh, red meat, and maybe you just want to have, uh, choose a red wine. And so, well, like yeah, I, I suppose to go across the, the spectrum. Yeah, I, I suppose when you and that's that's always very difficult. You need to go middle of the road. You need yeah. to find, a, um, I suppose, a, a medium bodied red. And the best thing to do is when you go in store, ask ask for help in store. Yeah. I mean, the experts in store know what they're talking about. They know what wines to pick out. If you want, if for the array of foods, if um, if you if you are serving and you want red wine, then you would go for um, a middle of the road red, something like a Pinot Noir or a Beaujolais Flory. Um, something that gives that softness that can match with both uh, lighter styles like fish and, yeah. and chicken right through to beef as well. And if you were going with white then, would you go more of a full-bodied white? Then yeah, I, I, I would personally. Like Sauvignon yeah. Blanc's Pinot Grigio's work wonderful, but for me I'd go for like a, a New World Chardonnay yeah. or even a Chablis, something without the oak. But I think the biggest thing for most people is they get caught up about wine and food matching. And it should just be kept simple. People mm. should just commit to memory certain flavours and they should commit to memory more to do with the grape variety than the actual branding itself. Yeah, yeah. Because once you understand the grape varieties that match certain cooking, whether yeah. it be a light fish or a big T-bone steak and peppercorn sauce, that's, that's where the difference comes. But for me, it's about that added ingredient. Mm -hmm. Something like a beef with a bit of chili on it is gonna need a softer red or even a, a full bodied white. Uh, something with a peppercorn sauce, and if the meat is cooked rare, then you're gonna go for a bigger style red, like a, an Australian Shiraz. Mm -hmm.